Hey there keepers, old and young, and today we are going to be looking at how to properly wash your goalkeeper gloves. The product we are going to use today is Bias Glove Glue, link in the description if you want to buy them. If you are using the Glove Glue, Glove Care System, Glove Wash and Repair, Glove Fresh Revive and Glove Glue. But we are not actually using Glove Glue, we are using just the Wash and Revive. Here is the Glove Fresh Antibacterial Antioch that I've been talking about. It's just a little, you will see if you look at my Glove Glue, an um, unboxing video what these people do. So, not much in the detail of what they do. It's basically just an antibacterial spray. to make your gloves smell nice and get rid of all the germs and all that stuff in the actual glove itself. So, it doesn't smell that sweaty or dirty smell. As you guys know, goalkeepers do smell a lot when you wear them gloves. So, this is helpful. Next is obviously the glove washing pair, which is one of the main features we're going to be using today. Since we are washing our gloves, just in hands of a better latex more intense. Hands long activity, all the stuff just wash to make sure it goes into your latex, it polishes the glove and makes the latex, as in the latex, I mean the foam, last longer and more clean. Okay, so the first step what you want to do is you want to fill your um, bucket, bowl, whatever you use, the sink. I'm using a bowl in the sink with lukewarm water so that it doesn't tear the glove as much. Next you want to you just get your goalkeeper gloves here. I am using my cells total contact gloves which I just used for my training. So it's a good way to show you how it matches gloves. Of course I can't do them so I already wash, that would make sense. But you want to dip your gloves into the water like so, give them a good squeeze and just rub them together like that. This is before putting the actual glove wash in itself. So. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm losing my throat a lot. So Apologies for the cracking in my voice. <coughs> my dear apologies. As you can see here, I'm just showing the phone. You just want to be doing is pouring the glove in the water and squeezing it. So you get all the dirty water out of the latex and into the water itself. Just keep rubbing the gloves together too. So you get all the dirty water out of the, the latex and all the possible soap that you use. I don't put soap in, then washing. I get rid of all the dirty water, and then I put the soap in, which you will see later on, obviously. Okay, now this is when I actually put the glove, glue, wash, and repair on my gloves itself. I took the gloves off and sprayed it on. What you want to do is you want to simply just repeat the same process, but without the gloves on. But now you can actually give the gloves a nice squeeze, and you can get all that soap and the water out. Do not leave your gloves to dry with the soap in or with dirty water in because it will crack the latex and ruin, it, ruin the longevity or durability so do not twist your glove always squeeze it like I'm doing here if you twist as I just said that will crack the latex moving the flexibility of the glove to deny itself deny itself if that makes sense basically the durability will go very easy if you twist them. If you just squeeze them, it basically means there's nothing happening to the latex itself. It's keeping it calm and fresh and easy to clean. If you twist it, it will obviously when it's dry notice that. As you can see, it will, you will see like the way you twisted it and it will crack the latex once the latex is actually dried. And that's annoying. As you can see, I'm actually um, squeezing the bottom to get most of the water as well, then wrapping the glue back up. So that we can just carry on with the normal squeeze and getting the water out simply. So that we can hope you guys understand what I'm actually doing here while I'm talking about to show you. Basically, I'll just keep it short for you. Okay, and take the gloves off, then put the soap in. I do recommend glove glue wash and repair. Do not use washing up liquid or anything like that, or any other soap, like normal soap or hand wash, whatever it is. Use required goalkeeper glove wash. Do not use any other soap. Do not use washing up liquid or anything like that. My saying if it's on Tesco or anything like that. Use properly, professionally made goalkeeper glove wash if you're going to use a wet soap. Also make sure you hand wash them. Never put them in a washing machine. The washing machine they will tear and everything. Unless you can, but I wouldn't recommend it at all. It's a horrible thing to do. Putting your gloves in the washing machine, then just finding out that they're going to rip. 
So don't ever do that. But um, yeah, just squeeze the just squeeze the glove. Don't ever twist it. So you don't want the water out. Make sure you do the same on the back end as well. As I'm going, I'm just going to circle the motions. Or just straight like just wash or just slide with my hand just to get all the wash soap out and all the water out of the glove itself. And it gives it just a nice a nice well, just easy to wash it really using that technique. Do not use any sponges or anything like that either. That's all you literally want to do is just hang them off away from direct sunlight. So really you shouldn't really be doing this, but because it's away from direct sunlight and it's quite late at night. If you're going to do this, do it late at night because then the wind can blow all the water water out and all that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make some great saves. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.